doctor who leaves this hospital identified. If he's got a woman with him, I want him tailed, but not approached. You got that? Talk to me. They're all at the every exam room. No sign of Zach or Celeste. Don't worry about it. We got the perimeter covered. He's not going to get out of here with her. We were stupid to think that this was going to work out. I never should have liked Celeste. For all we know, it already has worked. We're not going to storm this place just yet. Besides, if Celeste is half as tough as she talks, she can take care of herself. This reminds me of a science fiction movie. <laughs> Does it have to be so dark in here? Oh, come on. A little darkness? Now, you don't seem like the jittery type. Well, I'm usually not. I mean, I'm the kind of person I say what's on my mind, you know, and never beat around the bush. Well, why don't you tell me what's on your mind right now? I wish these tests were over. Well, if you just relax, these tests will be over in no time. Well, we got the results back from the test. No uh, cysts or tumors. And you're not pregnant. As a matter of fact, there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with you at all. How do you explain the cramping, then? Well, it's probably just, um... Normal hormonal variation. It's nothing to be alarmed about. So I guess I've wasted your time then. No, if you are concerned about something, it's always good to check. As a matter of fact, um, who referred you to me? Uh, Scott Clark. I work over at the clinic. Well, I have to remember that. Thank you. So will I. Uh, probably the best thing to do is for you to make an appointment for uh, next week just to... Uh, Make sure. You mean I'm going to have to wait that long to see you again? What do you have in mind? Well, dinner tonight. I take back what I said before. You are a very direct woman. Does that scare you? Only as much as the darkness scares you. I just don't like to let opportunities pass me by, that's all. And I happen to find you very attractive. So what do you say? My place tonight? I make it a policy never to date my patients. It's not a problem. The next time I come here, I'll just see a different gynecologist. Can I borrow your pen? You just bring the wine and those beautiful eyes. And I'll supply the rest. Certainly sounds like it's going to be a very interesting evening. Let's hope so. He was testing me right down the line. I mean, every question, every remark, there was something underneath it. Did you get a look at his ankle? Not yet. Not yet? What does that mean? It means I made a date with him. That is out of the question. Look, there's no way for me to get a glimpse of that scar on his ankle unless I get him into some kind of intimate situation. Now, we all know my specialty is intimate situations. He is a dangerous man. You being alone with him away from here is an unacceptable risk. You can be right in the next room. If I play this thing right... Yeah, I'm not even going to have to get him into the bedroom. Uh, he, he will know that we're there in two minutes. Are you kidding me? This guy is on top of everything. All right, all right. Then we find someplace else. Oh, please. There's a tenement building across the street. That's good visibility. What? Are you... You think this is a good idea? I don't know. Do you have a better bet? I don't want to put Celeste in danger any more than you but do. I know the risks. Me. I know the risks. And I'm willing to take them. Please. You need me. I am the only one who can help you out with this. Please let me help. I wish to God I were in a position to turn down that kind of help. I really do. You're dead sure you want to do this. Hey, man, I handled it this afternoon. I can handle it tonight. Well, I think you're some kind of crazy. But all right. Except, I'm going to check that stake out first. And if I think there's any chance we can't get to you from there in a one second flat, this stunt is off. Understood? Understood. What time's the date? Seven o'clock tonight.
time to set things up. We start now, I suppose. I gotta go shopping. Shopping? You know, I gotta, I gotta look good for the guy, you know? You burned all my effective wardrobe, don't you remember? All right, all right, just don't overdo it. Me overdo it? Come on. Never. Celeste. Yeah. Thank you. All right. What do we set up first? We, uh, did you hear what I said? We're going to check the tenement before we set up anything. If I think there's a chance we can't get to that woman immediately, this game is off. All right. What do you think? Where's the rest of it? Well, the skirt's in the other box. I'm interested in the blouse. Let's be realistic here. I mean, what exactly is it I'm trying to do? Keep that in mind? Uh, Celeste, would you mind putting it on? I'm worried there won't be a place to conceal the wire. Wire? What? We would like to wire you, if we can, instead of the room, so what happened at the hospital doesn't happen again this time. The problem is he could find it, especially if things were to get too intimate. Well, you don't have to worry about that. I mean, I can handle that. I learned that a long time ago. First thing you do is get the man undressed in case you have to make a speedy exit. It's no problem. Yeah, well, in any case, uh, you better show us what you got. I, I mean, um, what you bought. <laughs> okay. I'll try it on for you guys. Give me your opinion. Yeah, well, she seems to be in good spirits. Don't let her fool you. I know her. She's just as nervous as we are, if not more so. Well, if she starts having second thoughts, I hope she'll tell us about him, because I got a feeling Zack around fear is a lot like a shark around blood. But I think she can handle it. She's trying to prove something, and it's very important to her, and she's not going to let herself down. Cruz, can I ask a big favor? Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Um, actually, I'm... Uh, I'm sort of knee-deep in undercover work. Is it anything that I should know about? Uh, I think we need to keep it under wraps for now, Julie. Okay, understood, fine. What's up? They are doing some construction work outside my window, and I can't get any work done. I was wondering if I could use your office. Um, sure. I mean, I don't know if you'll be able to get any more done here, but you're welcome to try. We'll be out of your way as soon as we finish up. We're, um, we're kind of waiting for an associate. To... So, what do you think? Uh, which one of us would you like to, to answer? Uh, what about the, uh, the... Oh, that's right, the buttons. Good thinking. Is that better? Like that? Like that? I left some papers in my office, and I, I forgot all about it. I'll, I'll be right back. Keep it under wraps, huh? Well, um, I'll get the wire. Is there a draft in here or something? That was sort of what I was thinking. 